Andy Swigert Hobaugh, the leader of the Georgia State University Library's Research Data Services Team, or RDS Team for short. The RDS Team organized and will be judging the GSU Undergraduate Get Data Lit contest. My team colleagues and I created example presentations to give aspiring contestants ideas about what a contest presentation might look like and where they might find relevant and reputable sources to use in their own contest entry or presentation. So this is my example presentation titled, Banning Books, Is It Really a Thing? On January 15th, 2020, I saw this tweet that linked to a news story about a bill proposed in the Missouri legislature that was co-sponsored by two Republican representatives that would penalize public libraries that, quote, allow minors to access age-inappropriate sexual materials. So this pro proposed law provides a vague definition of what would be considered age inappropriate sexual material for minors. And it proposes that public libraries must establish parental library review boards that would oversee the determination of whether books qualify as age inappropriate or not. Under this proposed law, libraries found in violation would not receive state funding and library personnel found in violation would be fined or maybe even imprisoned. So seeing this tweet and reading the news story linked from it and then reading the proposed law itself made me wonder, are there data to support the need for this legislation? In other words, do the majority of people really want to censor what books are in libraries? And do political views influence opinion on this topic? So to dive deeper into the data, I began looking in two library databases that have public opinion poll data. Roper's iPoll and Polling the Nations are the two databases. And I found a couple of different polls that asked relevant questions for exploring my questions. So in the Roper's iPoll database, I found an interesting question asked in the 2012 Pew Research Center's Values Survey. So roughly 1,500 participants were asked how much they agreed or disagreed with the statement books that contain dangerous ideas should be banned from public school libraries. And the cool thing is that iPoll had the complete data set file, so I could actually download the data to look at whether opinion varied by various things, including political views. So when looking at the collective opinion for this statement, the data show that the majority, about 55.9%, leaned toward disagreeing with the statement that books containing dangerous ideas should be banned from public school libraries. So then I used a statistical software program called SPSS to run a cross tabs to break down opinion by political views as measured by political party ID. So the data show that while Republicans were split uh, almost 50-50 between agreeing or disagreeing with the statement, Democrats and independents were comparatively more likely to lean toward disagreeing with the statement that books containing dangerous ideas should be banned from public school libraries. So while I found this data informative, I had some critiques of it that pushed me to seek more data to explore. So for example, the data is almost eight years old, so I wondered um, if I could find something more current. And then to make generalizations to a wider U.S. population, survey data should ideally be drawn from a random sample of the entire U.S. population. And with this data, it's not clear if random sampling procedures were used. 
Also, the question only asked about public school libraries, so I wondered if opinion might vary by library types, such as school versus public versus college libraries. And probably my biggest critique was this wording of dangerous ideas in the question. So dangerous ideas is vague and open to wide variations in interpretation. What's dangerous to me might not be dangerous to you or to somebody else. So I wondered if I could find some data with a more concrete measure and ideally asking questions related to books with sexuality related content since that's the particular focus of the Missouri bill. So I turned next to the library's Polling the Nations database and I found this question asked in a 2017 survey administered by a research group called YouGov. The data is more current and I like the question because it is sexuality specific and it asks about various types of libraries. But the Polling the Nations database, unlike iPoll, did not allow me to download the data to look at how things like political views might influence opinion. So I went to the YouGov site and luckily I found there a PDF report containing tables of the question data broken down by political party as well as other things such as gender, age, race, income, and census region. So when broken down by political party, a clear partisan pattern of opinion arises. For example, only 28% of the Republicans answer that books with LGBTQ characters should not be banned at any libraries, compared to 49% of the Democrats and 37% of the independents. And then when looking at public libraries, 21% of the Republicans answered that books with LGBTQ characters should be banned at public libraries, compared to only 13% of the Democrats and 11% of the independents. And then the most pronounced differences by political party arose when survey respondents were considering elementary, middle, and high school libraries. So an average of 46.7% of the Republicans answered that books with LGBTQ characters should be banned from these three library types, compared to an average 22% of Democrats and an average 28.7% of independents. So while I found this data to be comparatively more useful, I still had some critiques of it. So while they state that they used a random stratified sample, there may be some biases due to the quote opt-in internet panel part of the sampling procedures that should be considered when making generalizations to a wider U.S. population. And while this question was much more concrete measure compared to the dangerous ideas question in the previous poll, and it was on a specific sexuality related topic, and it was asked about multiple library types, it would still be nice to find additional data if it exists on opinion about book banning for other sexuality related topics. So returning to my original questions that drove me to dive deeper into the data, first question, are there data to support the need for this legislation proposed in Missouri? In other words, do the majority of people really want to censor what books are in libraries? And drawing from the poll data I explored, I would say the answer is no. Generally, the majority lean away from wanting to ban books. But if the library is minors focused, so elementary school, middle school, or high school libraries, opinion does begin to lean a bit more toward wanting to ban LGBTQ books but still, the majority were not in favor of bans on LGBTQ books. And in terms of my question of do political views influence opinion on this topic, 
drawing from the data I found, I would say the answer is yes. Republicans are more likely to lean toward wanting to ban books when compared to Democrats and independents, and particularly when books contain LGBTQ characters and if the library is minors focused. And here are my references for my presentation. And that concludes the data story about banning books. So if you have more questions about the GSU Undergraduate Get Data Lit contest, please see the contest details at this bit.ly link and also feel free to email me, Mandy, at the provided email.